Alright, hello and welcome. This is Sinra Levin and today we're playing some more EU4 as Oman. So, where we left off, I believe we're about to make this into a core. So we will. And here we go. Here we go. Have religious unity? Yeah, that's not going to happen anytime soon. Our religious unity is trash. And it's going to get even worse as soon as we take more land. They have now allied with Yemen. So Yemen is allied with Balochistan, Ajiran, Shamar. Uh, that's annoying. Yemen is not going to be the one we attack first. That's simply too strong currently. I guess we can increase relations a bit with uh, the Mamluks. Now. I do want to go further further south, but we can't reach this without taking up a stability hit. Huh. We can fight these guys who are allied with Adal and Nasht. Nasht wouldn't be a problem. Wonder how large the army of Adal are, but we have a truce with them, so it doesn't even matter. And Ajaran is allied with Yemen. So Hassa might be an opportunity to go for. That would need us to get our troops back. Let's just do that. Seven thousand troops. Yeah, we can beat that. But Nash Hajas also had quite a few troops, didn't they? H. Yeah, they have eight thousand, so we would be outnumbered. Separatist. Miss again. Hmm. Huh, he just actually likes us. We could ally them and try to use them against Yemen and Shamar. That might be possible. I mean, the allied with Shamar. Hmm. Yeah, so if we do that, then this area is going to get sieged up. So we want to get the course first. But the Ajaran would siege up these course. Uh, you know, that might be what we want to do. Let's get the alliance. It's nice to have an alliance, at least. Nasht, Yemen, and Balochistan, yep. Sindh. But Sindh is basically gone, so there's no point. Yeah, so what we're doing is we're removing we're moving these guys away from, uh, from the African area. And we're going to move them up here so that... Uh, we should probably move them down here now, since we're probably going to fight... Probably going to fight Yemen instead. Quarantine to port, that's painful. And then what we need to do with our ships is actually to send them over there. Have a look. They wouldn't join right now because they're in another war, but after that they would. And this war should be over relatively soon. I mean, I don't really know why it's not over yet. Oh, it's because they're also at war with Adal and those guys, and they can't actually get there. That's pretty silly. Alright, so we can build another troop as well. Let's get one group there. I forgot to set on a timer, so I'll just do that. What are we? Um, how many minutes are we in? Like, uh, I don't know. It might become a short episode, it might not. It depends. And how far we're actually in. I'll honest, it doesn't even matter, but uh, I would like to make it a, a f uh, what, what do you call that, um, a habit to do. I would like to make it a habit that I just set on a timer so I know when to end the episodes. So we don't get these 30 minutes episodes sometimes, and sometimes some 10 minutes and stuff like that. Try to keep it somewhat mewah. Mm -hmm. Then a uh, coalition against mewah. 
they're about to die. Alright. So we could also declare the war against Baluchistan and then we would only be facing Yemen and Baluchistan. I think that might actually be better. Never mind, we've been warned by Timurids, that's correct. We can't actually attack the Baluchistan. How how does these guys feel about Timurids? They have also been warned by the Timurids. Alright. Well, if I could get an alliance with these guys, that would be great. Probably not going to happen anytime soon. Sint, not going to happen. Achieve religious unity is not going to happen. Like, Ibadi is, is one province up here that's actually our religion. The rest is Sunni or Shiite. Alright, poor government. Oh, what do we have here? Cordon. We'll lose this, the gold, I guess. Right, so, there we go. Convert it to the true faith. We have to wait for these calls to be done before we do anything. Nazi separatists. Yep, that's done now. So, this should, yeah, it's going down. Very nice. That's because we have the correct uh, culture and religion now, so that's good. Men of science. Well, honestly, right now I want my piety to stay high. I know that this is really good, but we are... Until we... Oh, I thought I misclick. Bravo, bravo. That's not what I wanted to do, but okay. We'll, we'll get it back as soon as we declare the war here. 59. Now we can get that up by... up to another... I guess we might as well start it. This does cause them to become Sunni salads instead. Wow, our oh, enemy down here is atrocious. Is it considered overseas territory? I guess it might be. City, local autonomy, intolerance. Mm. I'm not sure. I don't. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. I guess we'll find out. Alright, so... We have to wait for the last course to be done. There's two of them. We also kind of have to wait for this war to be over because I don't want to fight them alone. There we go. So we're just waiting for Hassa to finish this war. While we wait, we might as well fabricate some claims. We didn't even have a claim on them. Well, I guess we have to wait for this thing. Oh, we got... They noticed. Oh no. What are we going to do about that? I guess we'll run and match these guys. As a starter. They'll probably just send a dude there to improve relations constantly. We're still not really making all that much money. We should probably invest in more light ships. Yeah, we're not collecting all that much. There's a lot more money to be found here in the Indus. So what we should probably attempt to do is... Nah, yeah, whatever. We'll, f we'll get there. We just need to get more... What? Trade power everywhere. So yeah, we do need to focus on the Navy at some point. But right now I don't think it's needed. Oh, a Dal is in another war. They're actually in two wars. Not that it matters. We have a true. Oh, actually, our truce is over really soon. So a war against the Nasht might be coming up first. That could be a really nice idea. Take out uh, some more Nasht and maybe even. Oh, there we go. Hey, who are you at war with? Nobody, wait, no, whatever. Okay, so that's over. We'll now go here. So what I'm kind of waiting for is the QQ is here to attack Hassa, and then we will attack Hassa as well. Because hopefully Hijaz won't join them. 
uh, against the QQS. I like to call them QQS, I don't know why. They're only allied with these guys now. They're not allied with it. That means we could possibly eat some land here as well. Let's fabricate a claim on their capital. And then just declare war on Nasht. We can't do that right now. We're also fabricating a claim on them, I guess. Yemen has it. No, we're not. We do have a claim on it. Or do we? No, we don't. I thought I was fabricating a claim on it. Oh, we'll wait. Homosian separatists, would you, would you please? Like we could do this, but I don't really want to. I'd much rather just have them not revolt. Should be 5.3 years, I mean, I mean, the separatism is going to fade away slowly. Right, yeah, so this is pretty much just falling completely apart. Adal now has no allies, pretty much. I do want to get this province, I want to control uh, this area as well. Gulf of Aden. Oh yes, we had to fabricate a claim here. And Lima. They are now at war with Sharma. Alright. Sharma won't get access for us. And we can now get this. That's very nice. And our general died. I guess we won't really need him right now. We might need him against uh, these guys. No. We're not going down there. I guess we are going to siege that. Hmm. Getting this coastline would be nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yemen has declared war on. Let's see. Yemen, Ajura, Mogadishu, Balochistan, and Shamar. Against Hejaz and. So. so we could join this. I mean, we can block Baluchistan out and they won't be able to do anything. This will get sieged 100% surely. These two should be able to beat that and we should be able to beat Yemen. I mean, we can do this. Let's accept. Now we just have to move down here. Like our ships are completely fine. We actually captured a ship. Nice. You should do this. There we go. You should also take this sh ship and go beat up Baluchistan's navy. There we go. They lost a heavy ship, that's very good. Should probably just go repair real quick. Now's the time where we actually. Oh, who is the worst? Let's see. Right, let's see. Let's see. Um, four, two, three. That's two years of eight, two years age difference. Yeah, we'll just take out air. He's all right. He has some maneuvering. We'll get in there. So I don't know where that army actually is. Okay, so we have. Okay, Yemen's army is for some reason up here, which means we should actually just be able to do this. Gotta sit out there. Okay, they can actually run all the way through, so that's pretty bad. But hopefully they will... No, they're gonna lose up there. I'm gonna teach you a lot of stuff. I want them a counter lesson, please. Now we can actually siege their capital. Right now at least. They're not moving. Okay, here comes Baluchistan as well. We should just group up in the mountains. It's 
probably our best our best choice. I guess as I move in here. We're also at war here, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, Nash and Hassa is going to die from this. I'm just going to siege their capital. If I get that, then I should be able to... Uh, I should be able to take a piece. A separate piece though, but still a piece. And I'd be, maybe be able to get this, which would be really nice. Okay, so they're coming down. I'm just going to siege that, that's fine. As long as I get the capsule, I don't really care. Uh, one thing I do care about though is um, them not taking my capsule. I'd also like. I also do care a bit about my manpower, but I'm kind of hoping that I don't have to do any fighting, and all I have to do is do this siege, and these guys can do the fighting. Yeah, go die. What's this? This is only desert. Yep, get some more piety. They should be able to win that battle. Very good. Actually, we might win the war. I think Shamar's uh, army is pretty much gone, and uh, Baluchistan only has 10,000 troops over here. It's kind of annoying though that they can get military access through here. Adal, what kind of war are you in? Yeah, you can one run through my land. I kind of want them to go over here and kill these. It's a bit annoying that they're probably going to end up sieging this uh, while I'm converting it. Mahera, separatist down here. Nothing we can do about that. They're probably not going to actually if they do pop, I'm not going to be that sad about it because they've just sieged it up, so... Well, I guess there's not really much point sitting over here right now. So what do they have? Not that many ships? Well, they do actually have quite a few ships. What they should be doing is they should take either siege them out so they don't get kicked out of the I don't know. This is bad. If Baluchistan kicks uh, Hijaz out of the war, then that's pretty bad. Because that would be the majority of our army. Though they are doing really well right now. I don't know if they can actually attack into this. They probably can't. In the stability. Okay, we're just going to sit here. We're going to lose quite a bit of manpower, but I think it's going to be alright. Good. Ah, oh, Damn it! I hoped I was thinking it would be the the military. Oh, so we no longer have any any revolts, and Adal is actually beating these guys up pretty handily. Hopefully, they'll ask them not to be allied with Yemen and stuff like that, and then we can beat them up later on their own. Also, they're still Nashed, which I really want to go beat. Oh, and that Shamar is also dying to so that. And there goes Baluchistan's army. So now if they go siege this, then the war's pretty much won. They should have just have followed them, they could have popped them. Whatever. Whatever. Alright, so yeah, this is a pretty good war. I mean, how much would we need to take stuff like this? Actually, I prefer to have this. Yeah, I think we might be able to. My hair up. They're pretty freaking strong now. That's kind of kind of weird. That's the ones we just completely destroyed earlier. They got allies that are pretty decent. These guys are. Actually, I should fabricate a claim on that. I'm I'm gonna eat that. Or oh, they do have a lot of cores. So I could declare war on them, vassalize them, and then declare war on these guys later, and just feed them that. I think I might do that. Since I don't have that many problems with uh, too many relations, I think that's actually the best the best choice right now. Okay, so either Hijaz's army got destroyed, or they're just over here again. They do have quite a strong army, but I have no idea where it is. Okay, so apparently we don't have enough uh, war score. Oh, and there goes the 
episode. Alright, thanks for watching. Remember, to, Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time.